This is the Norton Health and Wellness Center at 1000 DuPont Road. It's the first place a lot of people come to get their weight issues under control once and for all. But bariatric surgery alone is not a guarantee for success. It's also important that patients come back and talk with their surgeon after surgery to eat properly, as Dr. Ben Tanner explains. Well, it's, it's important because patients sometimes uh, after surgery, they'll have questions that they may not have thought of, mm -hmm. thought of beforehand. Uh, also, depending on the operation that they have, uh, things will change. Their eating beha uh, behaviors will have to be modified uh, in accordance with the operation. How are patients prepared to make these changes after surgery? The thing that I do is the most visible part of the overall change, but the patient really has to take the ball and run with it. They have to make good, uh, healthy food choices and do the things that we ask to have a successful outcome. Well, Norton's Weight Management Center is a comprehensive program where you have a lot of different medical professionals that can help the patient, both with regard to dietitians, the surgeons, also psychologists are on site, and those things can be important for the patient to have a successful outcome. Are there certain foods that patients should absolutely stay away from? I think that's uh, one of the tougher things that the patients have to deal with is falling in back into the old, old, old bad eating habits, mm -hmm. if you will, where uh, whether it's eating sugary sweet things or different types of food that we really don't want them to eat to have a successful outcome and that's where when they come back to see us we can modify those behaviors so that they can be successful. Can patients sabotage the results of the surgery by eating improperly? Yes, uh, we still want, we want them to make good food choices. There, there's an idea with regard to patients that they think they can eat the same bad foods, eat lesser amounts of them and lose weight. We want to change that uh, mindset. We want them to diet with respect to eating, making good food choices, watching out for uh, simple carbohydrates and sugars so that they can lose weight. I won't say that there's any, you know, one particular food that they should always avoid. I, I believe in moderation, but definitely carbonated drinks, you know, so-called empty calories. I, I try to get patients to refrain from eating those things. Chocolates, eating a lot of chocolate or things that are going to slide right down past any operation that I do, uh, I try to use that in moderation. Success in this is truly a team approach, not just from the patient standpoint, but their family and the staff. Yes, uh, I think it's important that you know you, you can surround yourself and have the best health care team uh, with regard to the patient, but also uh, some home factors with regard to the, the, their, um, their loved ones, their family is very important. Also, primary care physicians uh, uh, with regard to patient care is very important. So it does take a lot of different elements to make sure that the patient has a successful outcome after surgery. Thank you, Dr. Tanner. Great information. Thank you. And if you want more information about the surgical and non-surgical weight loss options available at the Norton Health and Wellness Center, you can call 629-1234. For Get Healthy, I'm Jackie Hayes.